You enter the office in the morning to be greeted by a female whose makeup could have been applied while on a 57 bus which has gone over one too many potholes. Meanwhile, her hair is as much a stranger to a brush as Reese Mogg is to human compassion. And the outfit worn suggests it was put together in the dark. She in turn looks at you and notes the bed creased, baggy eyed face and the pre coffee crankiness, and can't help but wonder why that suit which hangs off you like a soggy fish hadn't been donated to a charity. Now, this may not sound like a romantic scenario but it works for the 4 out of 10 office workers in Britain, stats according to job search engine Adzuna, who connect at some point in their career. Right now however, those who find love during working hours are being threatened with a cold bucket of water by worried HR staff, the debate prompted by the sacking of McDonald's boss Steve Easterbrook, who had a consensual relationship with an employee. And it was cranked up by a GMTV interview in which the CEO of lingerie business Bluebella, Emily Bendell, argued that relationships in the office need to be declared and there should be guidelines. But Bendell is not only wrong, workplace relationships should be encouraged. Why? Meet someone in a bar or a club and they're relaxed, in control and preened. Try to meet someone online and you discover a notion of difficulty from heavily doctored sites to having to assess a prospective partner armed with little more knowledge than they love nothing more than contracting trench foot while walking in the camp seas and listen to Coldplay. Although both are strong indicators of personality. Tinder meanwhile is an exercise in wonder, why someone would post pics of their dogs, or themselves in semi-porn state, or shots suggesting they've just been shot by a taser gun. Your immediate thought isn't romance. It's restraining order. But if you have romantic leanings towards a colleague you will already know most of what you need to know, their thoughts on Brexit, Indie Ref 2, or 3, or 4, 5, 6, whether or not James Bond should be a female or vegans are killing the fun in eating food. They, on the other hand, have seen slash heard you deal with sticks of dynamite in the form of difficult clients, customers etc., or struggle to meet a deadline. Yes, there can be problems with work romances, when, for example, a Christmas party has gone a bit Caligula and there are a few Santa red faces the next day. And there is a problem when there is a power imbalance. Bosses such as Easterbrook should certainly avoid a relationship with an employee. But to suggest HRs should be recording workplace romances between colleagues is a step too far. I can recall some years ago being taken aside one night by my editor and warned as to my future conduct after being spotted leaving the office lat for more on this story, visit the news article link.